una cosita de eso. Yeah, you can't look. You also, yeah, you can take a picture. That's why they're not. That's why they're not a mechanic. Yeah. I, 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 I was like, man, I'm gonna go get my oil changed. This is the day after we replaced the head uh, cover gasket, and also um, the gaskets, uh, the spark plug gaskets, and we changed out some other things. But the issue is now. After I went to Valvoline, and I'll just go ahead and say it, and I don't know that they did anything wrong, but now it's leaking oil like a sieve, and it's not on the side where the uh, the oil filter is. It looks like it's right behind the right hand, which would be the passenger side, left hand, if you're looking right at the engine. It's on the left-hand side behind uh, where the gasket is. But also, it's weird because it looks like it's leaking below that. <sighs> but you can't obviously see exactly where it's coming from. Is there a bolt or a, anything that anybody out there leaving the comments think that... Because basically, who helped me was... Uh, my in-laws and he was uh, was a mechanic for a technician for GM so and these are GM vehicles uh, I mean they're not really but you know what I mean everybody knows the Suzuki XL7 so at first because we thoroughly cleaned everything uh, lots of brake clean lots of brake clean and we took our time and Actually, we were only missing one bolt, and it wasn't even on that side. And I went and got the, uh, it was not a bolt, it was a nut. And I went and got one today. So, I know that's not the issue. Everything was plugged back in. Before I went to Valvoline, I don't think anything was leaking oil. You know, um, they didn't say it was leaking oil when I got there. They didn't say I was leaking oil when I left there. I literally drove three or four miles. I came back home. I backed in to the parking uh, space. If not, I probably would have never seen it. I got out of the car. I seen that there was oil all over the ground. Enough to... So then I drove back to Valvoline. I mean, what should I do? Do you think I should drive back there again tomorrow and talk to the manager? Because obviously, it was too late. The manager was already gone. The issue is, it's my work vehicle. And I use it, obviously. You guys seen one video where I took out the back seats. So this obviously is not a how-to video of any sort. Of course, I got the valve cover gaskets off of eBay. Um... Everything looks to be in place. Uh, of course, it was getting dark, so... Um, so, all I did was... I went and put a... You know, an oil pan underneath the vehicle. So, it won't get oil everywhere. People in the comments, please... The Suzuki, you know... Uh, fanatics, gearheads... I need some help. I mean... Uh, I mean, I tried to replace this because it was had a bad leak before, but it leaked so much to the point where it almost um, clogged itself up, if that makes any sense. And I thought the only, uh, if you were looking straight at the vehicle, the, the one on the right was leaking. Well, come to find out when we took both of them off, both of them were leaking. So now it's leaking even worse. So, I mean, can you think of anything other than maybe the gasket being a little bit out of place or some of some sort? Um, it's a brand new gasket. So, if you could, anybody, please out there, help me. Uh, I know this isn't a very interesting video. But, um, 
yeah, it is what it is. Uh, after I get this issue uh, taken care of, I'm going to do a complete overview of all the upgrades and mods that I've done to the uh, Suzuki XL7. So I love these cars. There's a reason why people don't, you don't see them on the road. People don't work on them. People don't fix them. I don't know. Okay. All right, what, tell, uh, what, what, what do you think about Valvoline? What do you think I should do about their, or Jiffy Lube, or what, what do you want the hell, hell you want to call it? Do you think I should take it back to them? I think I will go back and talk to the manager. The issue is, I don't know if I want to drive the vehicle there. It's not that far. But, I don't know. It leaked like, they said, half a quart. So with probably about five miles of driving on it. They got oil in my car. I don't know. I should know better than to take it to them. I was just waiting. Because one earlier in the point, <laughs> earlier, <coughs> months ago, they almost said they didn't want to change my oil. They didn't, but they still changed it. So... Luckily, the one guy there had me pull in, and he they double-checked everything. They double-checked uh, the drain uh, bolt and everything. And I know I could put a, put a video on where it's actually leaking, but I don't know. It's probably the valve cover gasket. I hope not, because I can't drive it until it's fixed. So, And that's why it went there, obviously, to get... I mean... It wasn't leaking yesterday. What are the chances? But I didn't really drive it that much. We started it up, reparked the vehicle, and that was pretty much it. Uh, this morning, after I got my truck loaded up, I drove there. The f yeah, the first thing I did this morning, I drove there, and I drove straight back home. And then I drove to where I work, literally under five miles. So, sorry for the rant. I'm fucking pissed. I'm pissed. Ah, okay. And don't tell me to buy another vehicle. Where's the camera? Okay. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. Thanks again.